Many thanks to Invato Market for sponsoring this video. For thousands of royalty-free video templates and stock footage assets, go and check out videohive.net. Hey guys, and welcome back to another hopefully exciting video. Now, have you ever been editing a video in Adobe Premiere Pro and you just want to add a simple animated text box to it? Like just a little piece of text that swipes in, pops in or glitches into, add some information to the video. So in Adobe Premiere Pro, you go and create a text element and position it exactly where you want. Then you add a box shape outline around it. Oh, and don't forget to reorder the elements so the box actually appears below your text. Then you want some animation, so you add a few keyframes and the effect controls to slide the text box in horizontally. But then you remember that you don't get motion blur out of the box with Premiere Pro, so you have to actually use the transform effect instead. And again, add some keyframes and well, then you want to change the text. So now you go back into the graphic element and update the text. But now you also need to update the size of the box. Oh, and now your element is too big, so the animation doesn't work anymore. You have to go back and animate your keyframes and... Ah! Yep, exactly. So I decided to create a little asset pack that contains 10 different animated and fully customizable text box elements that you can use within your Premiere Pro project. And I'm going to give them all away for free. All you have to do is go to my website at surfacestudio.com, go to the shop and find the smart text box pack. Now you will have to either log in or register for a free account. And that's mainly because I just haven't figured out how to deal with guest checkouts just yet. And the download is going to be linked to your profile. So yeah, but once you're logged in, go to the product page for the smart text box pack and it's going to cost you nothing. You can just activate it without paying a cent, but if you want to, help me out or test my payment flow and see if you can break the website you can bump that number up and you know add a few dollars if you want to but again i'm not expecting you to you can just leave it at zero hit activate then go to the downloads page in your profile and in here you will find a download to the smart text box pack zip file this pack contains 10 motion graphics templates files that will work in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 and CC 2019. I haven't figured out how to make them work with earlier versions yet because Adobe Creative Cloud doesn't let me install earlier versions of Premiere Pro and After Effects anymore, so I'm not quite sure how to make that happen. But if I figure it out, I'll definitely make them available for earlier versions of Premiere Pro as well. Now, here's some examples of these text box elements. They're all fully customizable and they'll always fit your text, so you don't have to go back and forth between your keyframes and your options. It's all easily configurable directly in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this is the first version and I'm really keen to get your feedback. Do you find this useful? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think I could add so much more, add different packs, create other things? I'm really keen to start making more assets for you guys, be that particles, text elements, graphics, titles, anything you can think of. Leave me some comments down below. I'm really keen to hear your thoughts. Also, in my next video, I want to introduce a slightly new segment and read out and answer some of your questions. So leave me anything that you want to know down below and then hopefully in the next video I'll get around to actually answering some of your questions. But now enough talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. Once you've downloaded the Smart Text Box Pack from our website, you'll end up with a zip file. Let's just extract that right here. And this file contains two folders, one for Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 containing 10 motion graphic templates files and one for Premiere Pro CC 2019. Now, the reason these are different is that CC 2019 does give you some additional features such as font customizations and more easily modifying the duration of these animated text boxes. And because I personally do use Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019, I'm going to use that for the rest of the video, but you can also use the CC 2018 version. And if I ever figure out how to export for earlier versions of Premiere Pro, I'll make those ones available as well. But let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I've got a couple of clips prepared here that I want to decorate with a bit of animated text. So let's play back the first clip right here. Very dreamy. Um, let me just mute the audio just so it doesn't interfere with the recording. And let's say we want to kind of fade in a very soft kind of dreamlike text box down here in the bottom. First of though, let's get these 10 motion graphic templates that you will find in my smart text box pack into Adobe Premiere Pro. And for that, within Adobe Premiere Pro, come into Window and let's bring up the Essential Graphics panel. In this panel, you can manage your motion graphic templates and you can customize them. Now, the easiest way to get the smart text box text templates into Premiere Pro is let's bring up the folder. And what I like to do is I like to simply select them all and just drag and drop them right into the Essential Graphics panel. Just make sure you're on the Browse tab in here. Just let go. Give that a second. 
And that should be it. Let's just search for smart and click outside. And here they are, 10 smart text boxes ready for you to use. Let's grab the fade text box, just drag and drop that onto the timeline right at the beginning here. And now if I play this back, cool. Well, that does fade a text box in and it fades out as well. But let's just start customizing this because obviously this is not really what I wanted to say. So with this motion graphic template selected, you'll already see the essential graphics panel has already switched over to the edit tab. And in here, you'll now find a whole bunch of customization options for this text box. First, let's just change the text. So let's delete the second and the third line of text. And let's just change the first one to maybe what it'll say at the beach. You can select the font, but again, that's only available if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. I'm actually quite happy with the font and the colors. Overall, you can change the shape color, so the color of the box, as well as the outline and the text itself. You can also, if you wanted to, just hide or show the box itself. You can control the outline thickness, so you can give it a really comic book style, really thick outline, but I'm going to keep it fairly thin because I want that dreamlike feel. Come down a little bit. You can control the roundness of the box, so you can have it nice and soft or pretty harsh and sharp, depending on the style you're going for. You can also fade the text box out a little bit more, but I'm gonna keep it around the 70%. Box height controls the height of that box, and you can see the text will automatically kind of try to squeeze into the space that is available. It's going to make it just a little bit lower. Box width, again, controls the width of that box, and again, you can see the text is kind of changing size. So I can bring the width in a little bit, and maybe bring the height down as well, so maybe to that. Let's bring in the thickness of the outline a little bit more as well. That looks quite nice. Let's come further down. You can control the text opacity, the text scale. So you can actually make the text inside the text box really tiny or push it way past the boundaries. I'm just going to keep it fairly well fit in there. And then you have a slider for the main scale and you can actually scale the entire element up or down as well. It's just easy once you've customized everything individually and you don't want to tweak multiple sliders. Just go main scale if you want to scale the whole element up or down. Let's come down a little bit more. Then now you can either move this layer as a whole and you can do that. Let me just push that out by having that layer selected and in the effects controls, you can come to the motion, actually just move the layer itself about, but I'm actually just going to undo that because I don't like to dig into all these other panels, which is why the smart text boxes also expose an offset right here. You can just tweak that and this will move the text box element within the frame for you. So you can kind of position it exactly where you want and you may notice it has a little bit of a drop shadow. You can control how opaque, how visible that drop shadow is. You can also control the softness. You can have a really harsh, more tech-like drop shadow, but I'm going to keep this quite nice and soft. And then some of the text boxes have a few additional options like reversing where a text box swipes in from, or this one gives you a bit of a wave warp. So when it fades in, you get that, that ripple effect that you kind of associate with some dream sequences or whatnot. But I'm going to leave that off. So let's just rewind and let's play this back. Cool, and that looks nice. Now, if you are using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019, you can actually select the Rate Stretch tool with R, or you can actually just pick it down here from the toolbar on the left in Premiere Pro, and you can now either make the title much longer or much shorter, and you will not affect the fade in or fade animation. So those animations will have the exact same duration and same feel, but the title itself will be, for example, this one is much shorter now, but it still fades in and out just as nice. Again, just something that's available in CC 2019. Now let's come to our next example. Here I have another clip. Let me just come to the beginning and let's just quickly play this back. Cool, so this is a bit of holiday footage shot in Japan as well as the Maldives. And let's add some text boxes to these video clips to say where they are. Let's come back to browse in the essential graphics panel. I'm still filtering on anything that says smart. So I've got my 10 smart text boxes right here. And again, you can use whichever text box you want. There's a spin, there's a glitch, a swipe in vertical, horizontal, there's some pop ones. Um, there's also this construct one. I'm just going to grab this and drop that onto my timeline right here. Let's select it. And again, in the essential graphics panel, maybe what I'll do is I'll just grab this. I'm actually going to dock this right here on the left hand side. It's just a bit easier to manage as its own panel. And let's just check this out just by itself. So let's just play this back.
cool. And it's kind of got this pinched sweep in, sweep out animation, however you want to call it. So let's again, let's just change the text. So this is Maldives. I'm going to delete the other two lines. I'm going to leave the font and everything. What I'm going to do though on the shape color, let's change the shape color. I'm going to use this color picker here and let's just pick some color from the actual ocean. Maybe like a bit of a darker one. I'm going to leave the text white and I'm not going to go through all of these options again. They are very similar for most of the text boxes except for sometimes they have a couple of different ones depending on the type of the text box. Let's just make this a whole lot smaller. So Maldives, maybe about that size. And again, I'm just going to use the offset to kind of sweep that text box over to the left hand side, give it a bit of space around the edges so it doesn't look too squeezed in right there. And let's rewind and play this back. Cool. And it's as easy as that. Next, here we've got the text box vanish and cut across to this Japan clip. So I'm going to kind of use the rate stretch tool and just bring this in a little bit. You can see it ends right where this clip ends. So that's where the text box will disappear. And then I want another one to appear. And again, you can just come to browse and drop another text box in or just hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and just drag the existing text box over to create a copy, select it. And in the Essential Graphics panel, let's just customize it again. Maybe let's change the shape color. Maybe I want something kind of like slate gray, but maybe let's make the outline a little bit thicker. And maybe let's change the outline color to maybe some of this pink color here from the building. Let's hit OK. So maybe just like that. Let's change the text to Japan. And maybe I'll come down and make the text just a little bit smaller as well. Main scale can go down a bit as well. And again, you can reposition that if you wanted to, but let's just play this back. Cool, and there you go, customized animated text boxes. Finally, let's check out the last example, which is a bit more tech-based. So let's jump in and play this back. Cool, just some random B-roll. Let me mute the audio, come back to the beginning in the Central Graphics panel, come into Browse and into our smart text boxes. And now let's grab a glitch one. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto my timeline and you'll notice that some of these text boxes will already have some audio attached to them just so they're a bit more interactive. They feel a bit more interesting. So let's drop it off at the beginning here and let's play this back. Cool. So you've just got this little glitch in effect. It's a bit more of a tacky look. And again, let's just come in here, change the text. Maybe I'll also change the font on this one to something a little bit more technical. Let's change the outline color to like a really brightish blue. Come down a little bit. Outline thickness can go down a little bit. I want this to be a little bit more sleek. Roundness, I don't want round corners. I want that to be quite sharp. Come down, give the box a bit more opacity. Make it a little bit darker, stand out a little bit more. Maybe I'll make the box a bit wider, a bit taller as well. So it kind of covers a bit of the image underneath that. The shadow opacity, I'm going to push up, but I'm going to lower the softness just to make the drop shadow a little bit sharper. And let's come back and play this back. And it's as easy as that. And you do have 10 text boxes all up that you can play with and you can customize and use in any way you want. And as I said, I'm really keen on your feedback. Do you like them? Do you not like them? What do you not like about them if you don't like them? Like, is there things that I can improve, make better, make easier? How can I make this useful to you guys? Leave me some comments down below. Leave me feedback. Get in contact on social media or on my website. I am really keen to hear your thoughts of what you think of essentially my first ever digital asset. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to enable the bell if you actually want to get notified. If you want to support me what I do on this channel, be sure to check out all of the links down in the video description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.